Spring is a wonderful time to freshen up your finances. Joining us now is Andrea Warrock. She's a personal finance expert here to talk about how to make some smart money moves. Thanks for coming on the show. And your number one tip is to invest your tax return. Exactly. A lot of people, when they get a tax return, they get excited and they look at it as free money. But you have to remember that this, these are your hard-earned dollars and you're getting it back. So you want to think about how you can use that to improve your financial health instead of just wasting it on an impulse buy, like buying a new TV. So think about boosting your savings and starting that emergency fund, especially if you have any credit card debt and you're trying to finally pay it off. That emergency fund will help you get ahead. This way, if something happens like a medical emergency, or a car accident, you have cash to cover it. Otherwise, um, consider opening up a savings account for your child's education. A 529 college savings plan is a great option. And also you can use that tax refund to pay off your debt or pay down some of that debt. So consider all those options. What do you suggest for people who are carrying a lot of debt? Right. You know, when you're carrying credit card debt on one credit card or across multiple credit cards, you're really going to have trouble getting ahead and reaching your other financial goals. So the best thing that you could really do for your financial health is look at taking out a debt consolidation personal loan. This will help you pay off that debt faster, save more money over time. And I also find that it's a lot easier to manage one payment that's due on the same day every month rather than trying to juggle multiple different credit cards that are due on different days and you forget how much you owe and what the interest rates are, that's when it gets really confusing. And a great tool um, like Marcus by Goldman Sachs offers no fee fixed rate personal loans to consumers with good credit to help pay down those high interest variable rate credit card debt. Um, and again, this is just a great tool. It's always so critical to take a look at those fees. Yes, yes. And you know, no personal loan is created equal. And so that's what some consumers really need to take into consideration when they are shopping for a personal loan. Some lenders actually charge up to 5% of the loan as a sign up fee. So, you know, that, that's a big amount of money if you're taking out a loan and you're trying to pay down your debt. You don't want to be missing out on any of that loan amount. Um, and that's why I recommend Marcus by Goldman Sachs because there are no fees ever. So there are no sign up fees. There are no late fees. You only pay interest on the additional days and there are also no early prepayment fees. So you really want to take that into consideration when you're shopping for a loan and make sure you get all the information before you take one out. What are some tips for tidying up your accounts? Exactly. Well, some people have multiple accounts accounts at many different banking institutions or financial accounts. I find that this can get a little confusing. You can, you know, not really focus on your financial goals when you have money in many different places. So I would consolidate and try to move those accounts to one banking institution and also make sure that you're not being any, charged any fees there either. There could be checking account maintenance fees. There could be overdraft fees. So you want to shop around on that as well. Um, and that will really help you manage your money more wisely. Your last idea is to review your budget. Exactly. When you create a budget, I find that a lot of people forget about it. But if you experienced a change in a life circumstance, like maybe you got married or had a child or even got a new job, that's going to impact your budget. And you want to make sure that you're still in target to meet your goals, whether they're short-term goals or long-term goals. Um, and if not, you need to rebalance it and look at ways to trim the excess spending in your budget. Um, so you may look at your bank and credit card statement for those reoccurring expenses. Maybe they're subscription services or memberships that you really don't use. Maybe it's a gym membership you haven't been using or a beauty box that comes every month. If you really don't need them, cancel them. You can also look at reducing your cable plan by cutting those premium movie channels, especially if you're already paying for a video streaming service. So again, there's so many ways to make tweaks to your budget and help you save money. So just spend a little time Time. And remember, even if it's just five, ten, thirty dollars, that adds up to a lot when you collectively save. So, so try any measure you can. Andrea, we hope to have you back. Thank you so much. Yes, of course. Thank you so much for having me. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.